If you're using zip code scanning on your Home Patrol radio and you're using a range, don't make this common mistake. Let me show you what the issue is and how setting your range to zero will fix this. So here we have on our screen Squelchy. And Squelchy has his range in his Home Patrol radio set for a five mile radius. Now, Squelchy wants to listen to his neighboring county's tower, which is right here. And that is set up with a radius of 20 miles. We're sitting about 10 miles away from the outside of that 20 mile radius. And if our radio is set up so that we have a five mile range, we won't hear any communications from that transmitter's system. But if we change our range from five miles to 10 miles, now these two circles touch. And if they touch or if they overlap, that means that system is now enabled in our scanner if we're using zip code and range scanning. But we may not want to listen to that system because it's just too far away. That's why I recommend if you want to listen to any systems that you are currently in, you set your range to zero. And in this diagram here, our range is set for zero. We are inside of that 20 mile radius. That system will be enabled. And if we were outside of this system and we had a range of zero, it would not be enabled in our scanner. So even though having a range feature in our scanner radios can help us turn things off and on and pre-program our radios for us and help us take some of the headache out of scanning, it doesn't completely eliminate it. So if you want to better your chances of only listening to systems that you are in the RF footprint for, set your range to zero. Let me know if this helped explain how the range feature works in your Home Patrol database. And if this doesn't really help you all that much, let me know and I will create a different style video on this one. It's kind of difficult to explain in three minutes or less. Make sure you subscribe to this channel to learn more about the scanner radio hobby.